What's up, Sim Racers? This is Larry TJR Sim here, and today I kind of want to go over a quick little video of some gloves. I'm no stranger to uh, to gloves. Ride motorcycles a lot. Got all kind of gloves. Know how they should fit. Winter gloves, summer gloves, track gloves, several track gloves. Right? They're very uh, uh, independent to a person about how they like them to fit and feel. Uh, not too much extra on the ends of your fingers. Uh, not moving around on your hand, especially if you're on a motorcycle. Um, where your hand's shifting within the glove. So you, you want them snug, right? You want them snug, proper fit, so they stay stay on. So, Spade of Gloves Sparco. I have these Sparco uh, gloves right here, the Hyper Grip. And they came out with their uh, Hyper Grip Plus, which I uh, got these uh, for my birthday. So wife picked these up, which are really cool. I like them a lot, uh, but they do have some downfalls to them uh, compared to the Hyper Gloves. So I just wanted to do a quick comparison and uh, a quick review on them and uh, let you know what's up. So, all right. First of all, these I've had for about three years. Uh, they're super comfortable. Put one on here for you. Uh, now you see here it has this finger pull out, right? So you can use it to use on your phone and stuff like that, right? It has the same for the, uh, for the thumb as well, uh, which is, is fine, uh, but it tends to get loosened up over time and it just doesn't look too well but you can see it's uh, we'll get a camera here how gnarled up everything has gotten over the years so gloves are a usable item uh, I don't expect them to last forever it is what it is right but I have had some tears in the seams here from it and I use Alcantara uh, you know or suede suede rims right so um, you know they they tend to tear up and the reason you get gloves a lot of times is to keep this from matting up and stuff but it doesn't matter you're gonna always mat up these these rims even with gloves over time even if you go through and meticulously brush them and stuff they're gonna end up like this eventually and that's why they have other alternatives they're having as far as Azatec comes out with a uh, rim that's um, kind of a suede material but a uh, hybrid of it right um, you could use and, and last uh, a lot longer than say suede will as far as the uh, the compression of it the, the, the matting of it right so anyway <laughs> is what it is but uh, yeah as far as the gloves go uh, yeah these are very cool feeling they they're relaxed to put on you I like them a lot I almost actually got another pair of these but just blue just to get a different color but I went ahead and got the uh, the plus or my <laughs> asked my wife to get the plus plus version so these actually come in a nice little sparko pouch right but as far as they the fit feel and function of them they, they're really good I'm gonna put them on although I do have one problem I have size 11 gloves here and which is what my these gloves were size 11 as well uh, but being that these have a velcro piece here uh, it's easier to slide your hand in and out because you got quite a bit extra room here. Uh, these new gloves don't have that Velcro. They fit nice and slim and, and tight. So they're difficult to get on. So my suggestion would be to get one size larger than you would for the, uh, the non-plus versions, uh, just to get your hand in there a little bit easier. So I I'll show you. It's a little, little tight where it gets kind of stuck. And actually when I first got these, I, I couldn't ever even get the damn things on Harley. I had to kind of reach in here and just really stretch them and get them on. I got a little pull tab here as well that helps, but they slide on a lot more, a lot easier now after several uses of these and stuff. So uh, now they're really good. Now my left hand, it slides on easier than, than my right, but I'll put both on just to show you. So I kind of got to wiggle it around in here and then, oops, get stuck right there. Pull on it. Oh my God, I got it on, right? But anyway, once they're on, excuse the pun, they fit like a glove. So I like them. They have a little bit of thread right there that came off, or it's coming done. I just trim it with some scissors, but I left it here just to show you for the review how they come. Now you'll see on the palms of the hands here that, which hand am I looking at here? This used to have some blue stuff on it, just like these do, or, or sorry, these two do, right? Uh, that came off and I kept seeing little freckles of blue stuff on my rig and I'm like, what the hell is that? And uh, then I realized that's, that's from the pinkies coming off and I guess just from from rubbing across on the uh, suede rims and stuff it just finally worked itself off so 
that is a downside. I would expect these uh, these two to actually come off eventually as well. I don't know if this will. Uh, maybe I don't know. You don't normally. I don't know that you would actually have that problem with those with the outer parts coming off because it's so much further away from the rim when you're holding the rim. So when you're holding the rim here. You're kind of that outer part is gripped. You know much further out right so it's not such a problem but your fingers when you're drifting or you're doing rally racing you're holding the sway now on a leather an all leather uh, rim i don't suspect you would probably lose uh the little blue marks so easy the little blue grips on it but what happens though after you see it uh getting the camera here you see the little air holes there so that's just an extra layer they put on them uh, on, on these these three uh fingers that for grip but then you go back to the suede look uh, underneath that after that wears off so uh, not too impressed with that definitely use some cheap materials there as far as gluing it and adhering it to uh, to the uh, glove so boo on that so that's a definitely a mark now the pads it has the pads in here and the, and, and the pad here on your hand works great uh, takes some fatigue off your hands as well which I do like you used to be able to remove your thumbs uh, you can't no more. Same with your uh, finger. You can't no more. It's all sewed up. But these work excellent on a phone. I'm able just to sit here and not pull the gloves off. Use the phone as if I'm using my regular fingers. They work really well as far as just grabbing your phone, doing some things on your phone, and then uh, putting it back aside, right? So, uh, yeah, I like that aspect of it. It works really good, so you don't really need to have that. Plus, it's one less spot for it to tear off and then uh, start splitting seams down the side so other than that it's very airy through there you kind of yeah, you kind of see my skin through the through the gloves right so it produces a lot of air uh, through there so my hands don't get hot at all uh, in here they're very good looking gloves too i really like the way they look <clears throat> of course they come in several colors i'll flash them up here on the screen for the selection of colors uh, oh and this isn't affiliate links or anything. I do have affiliate link for Amazon, so if you can find them on Amazon, I'd appreciate if you used that or if you're interested more in the regular uh, hyper gloves or, uh, you know, you can go check out gloves through affiliate link on Amazon, I'll post, uh, and see if they have your size in stock on Amazon. <clears throat> but through Sparkode now, I bought these with my own money, uh, or my wife bought it with our money, and uh, yeah, we, uh, uh, so I like them pretty good. But any, anyway, that's all I see. They fit really nice once you get them on. It takes some break-in period. If that's going to annoy you, I would get one size up from what you normally would get uh, because this doesn't stretch uh, out uh, so far because you don't have that Velcro piece, right, that allows you to slide your hand in easier. So I'd rather that Velcro piece be back on here because I don't really... This looks slicker for sure, and the Velcro over time... As you're using it, it gets a little weak and it, it kind of flops around, right, sometimes. So I can see going to this as far as looking at a sleeker, more professional look. But, uh, yeah, the only pity is uh, this uh, rubber stuff that they put on here is is cheap and uh, doesn't really stand the test. I mean, I've only had these since December 9th, and it is December 14th. So that's how quick that came off. <laughs> so uh, that's a little cheesy and, and in my uh, opinion that's a lot cheesy in my opinion so i'd rather you just take the blue shit off <laughs> don't even run with it uh and uh so i don't have this little freckles of blue stuff all over my rig that i have to clean up now on this side you have uh these little little gussets you know sticking out just really just aesthetics normally on motorcycle gloves it's help for impacts and stuff but these would do absolutely nothing for an impact uh maybe they'll help keep things no they, they're really just looks i don't see any reason why they're there besides just the, the aesthetics of it so um same thing with the sparko it's raised raised as well looks pretty cool but yeah all in all you know if i had to give these one out of ten right on a grade scale ten being the best one being the worst uh they would probably get a i, I would give them a, a seven right i give them a seven and honestly for the other gloves when they were new, <laughs> uh, I would have gave them a, an eight actually out of these, uh, just because uh, it did also have some some fun uh, going on, and then obviously longevity of them they start to tear a lot easier. So uh, for fifty bucks, I don't expect uh, high end 
end uh, materials, but I don't really want to spend more than 50 bucks for sim racing gloves, right? So if they last me a couple years, I'm fine with that. And I'll buy another set. They're a wearable item for me. So, but yeah, that's a quick look, quick little review. I'm out of 10 uh, rating for these. Uh, and the reason they got knocked down extra is because they're a pain to put on. And within just, you know, uh, what, uh, six days, <laughs> it already took off the blue. Uh, so, I mean, I, I think in some people's book, they would have marked it down to like a five out of 10 for that aspect. So longevity wise, we'll see how long they last, but, uh, that, that's what I've noticed on these and, uh, yeah, take it for what it's worth. If you like them, check them out. If you don't pass, go on to something else. So that's all I got to say about them. So I'm out. Thanks for watching. Oh, check out the affiliate links in the bottom. I have tons of affiliate links uh, that I've acquired for, for Q4 2023 and on into uh, you know 2024 as well. So hopefully, uh, y'all, if you're in the market for a lot of different sim gear, check out my affiliate links. It helps out the channel, helps it grow so I can obtain more products and actually also get coupon codes that I can give to y'all to use. Like I have several coupon codes. Uh, now already uh, out there like five percent off stuff like that so check them out also check out the blog as well uh that's where i'll post uh the manual the uh, the reps on the youtube videos uh, i'll start adding some write-ups on them as well so yeah all in all i'm out have a great christmas see ya